ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧೀತಮಸ್ತೋಮ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಯೋಗೇನ ಚಿತ್ತಸ್ಯಪದೇನ ವಾಚ ಮಲ ಶರೀರಸೈದ್ಯಗೇನ ಯೋಪಾಕರೋತ್ತ ಪ್ರವರ ಮುನಿ ಪದಂಜಲಿ ಪದಂಜಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಂಜಲಿರಾನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಎಸ್ ನೌ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಟು ವಿ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ definition of vairagya and kaivalya the param vairagya is that the yogi disconnect himself from the omni signs and omnipotent level of experience even from that high level of experience he disconnect himself then he is one with himself is mean he is alone disconnected from prakriti and its products so that was kaivalya aloneness then now comes the sutra related to you can say the final discovery of the elements outside the maximum discovery yes we start the sutra first tana tat kramayo samyamad viveka cham jnanam ಕ್ಷಣ ತತ್ಕ್ರಮಯೋ ಸಂಯಮಾತ್ ವಿವೇಕಚ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕ್ಷಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮುಮೆಂಟ್ ತತ್ಕ್ರಮಯೋ ತತ್ಕ್ರಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇವೆನ್ ಯು apply samyama on that you get the special discrimination the finest discrimination of the outside object elements that is called viveka jam jnana now this is a point of point should be noticed that is this viveka jnana and viveka cha jnana is different viveka jnana is discriminative knowledge that is the sadhana or that is the means for kaivalya but this viveka cha jnana is the finest discrimination regarding outside objects it means prakriti 
in prakriti and this is connected to gross objects not subtle objects here in this sutra to understand this sutra when you see the vyasa bhashya we can obviously see the difference between subtle elements and gross elements and this meditation this samyama is connected to gross elements there we do samyama and subtle elements are connected to mind only this you have to remember because all other theories physics chemistry biology or whatever you study they all contradict to this concept because there you study the gross elements and there you may be using some subtle subtle and uh, small tiny and all these words but they are all connected to gross elements according to the philosophy of all the darshanas we can say all the shat darshanas they say subtle means it is grasped by mind only it what is there in the mind is called subtle in vedanta we say apanjikritatvam sukshmatvam before panchikarana the dividing process that is apanjikrita that is grasped by mind that is subtle so here you can see that now that knowledge is vivegajam therefore there is the ja is there viveka ja it is not viveka viveka ja the our uh, real viveka is called viveka khyati and this is viveka jam jnana but this is a finest uh, discrimination regarding outside objects and now it is very special by because patanjali is concluding his in this chapter he is going to conclude the physics here so because we were following the physiology and things like that this is the last uh, what do you say the result of the all the process and now <clears throat> here the chana first thing is chana chana means you know moment and one moment we say one moment so what is one moment we have any other word in english for moment i think no only this word is there ha huh? what enjoyment ah uh, no <laughs> so ha eh? i said german oh okay sorry sir ah german we have in malayalam also we have <laughs> so, so that is not useful here so ah uh, okay so chana means moment okay we have i was thinking about that if i find some other word that will be more uh, if it is suitable so chana means here it is the uh maximum what we say the last part of time which we can assume by our intellect that is chana but normally we say a chana a moment it is related to action it is also comparative when we say i just come in a moment it may be half an hour so this moment is comparatively has uh, a relative sense so therefore this word is misunderstood that is why i was i was trying to find some other word but that is not there because when we use the word what is totally misunderstood it is difficult to convey the real uh, meaning of that 
when you use in philosophy the words we are using normally in another sense if you take that word the audience receive the same thing so again is a misunderstanding is there like when we see objects or desires it is all in general sense if you want to say something specifically you have to add something there otherwise that idea will carry the all the me- meaning out so you cannot bring to the real sense then even we just see this chana chana is uh, the minute a uh, form of time and now how we calculate this minute finest form of time that is the question we have second as for our uh, normal life we calculate the second as the last but there are after second also there are time calculated for many other use for atomic uh, research and other physics they use less than seconds second is very gross form of time uh, so you can use any word it's divided into many forms nanoseconds microseconds like that so everything is there because when you produce something new and it is uh, uh, what is a very thin or very small and it has some moments and you want to calculate it is not coming to the seconds normal seconds you have to produce a new time then so they produce nanosecond when nano technology was uh, experienced so then they produce the nano time micro time hmm atomic time atomic time also is there that is related to atomic theory so in we are here we need atomic time okay i think that is sufficient or we, we would go to particles also if you want so that time the maximum uh, we have to go okay here the point is now how we calculate this the vyasa bhasha says he takes the atoms anu this is used there because in those days anu means the smallest particle of the object and the movements of the movements of two anus two atoms but the what that which uh, how much time they take is called chana the movements of two atoms or compare to because we take two to just uh, compare the movements so the each movement is called chana that is the finest of chanas calculated in vyasa bhasha of this translation of this now it is changing huh? yeah that any any type of movements because they are moving atoms are moving so the movements are taken here so we have to find something very small that is why now these atoms are not subtle these are even it is connected to gross elements we say it is gross because in subtle the mind there is not time mind surpasses time so that I mean mind there is not time and space so the subtle we don't say about time and time is connected to this that is why he says this is the uh, in the matter the come most uh, no minute level what is there is called atom so that atoms the movement of the atom is this chana and now in each object is it is there in each element it is there 
So this element, if you take this uh, cotton, it has some changes. It was new on upon a time. Now it is old. So how it become old? So we can see the time there. By comparing time, we say it is old. It is one year old, two years old, one month old, like this. So we start from one year. So one year old means what? What is the meaning of that? One year old. We take the uh, orbiting of Earth. Uh, if you want to specifically know, this is the thing we connect with the sun and then we say one year means the earth orbits once. So this is one year. Now this orbiting the movement of earth is considered as one year time. Now this time is connected to this movement of earth. This is a big span. And when we, re we reduce it again. So one month. So one month, what is one month? One month is also connected to as the solar calendar. It is connected to the movements of earth. And then that is also movement. Eh? I have to remember that is also movement. It is one month span. And again reduce we say this one month old. It means we take that movement and apply on this, attribute on this. This is one month, one month old. Then one week. And one week is also connected to this movement only, but there are two uh, different ways to calculate the week. One is one week we say is related to lunar calendar that is also there and one week we say is connected to the planets, the movements of the planets that is also there. So both are there in astrology. So you know if you study then you know that. So because one week means the different planets they come near to the earth that is why this week is called in a different name. Sunday, Monday and all those things. So this is also connected to movements. We need this point there. Now it is reduced into this. Again come to day. So day is the movement of earth itself. Day and night. So day and night together we call one day. Okay. So again we reduce it as day and night. So that is also the movement of earth. So everywhere the time is connected to movement. It is proved. Now we are going even reducing, reducing, still reducing. Then at last we have to say there is some movement in the particle of the object so that is making this object old and when you see that the small particle in through your mind you see the moment you see the movement and movement both now you should not be confused with that so the movement is also there and that movement is calculated as a movement of that particle. It is, again it is physics. We can understand this. And then this is connected to time and by this you calculate all the modifications outside. <coughs> All the modification with the related to time, you calculate. 
क्षणतत्क्रमो इफ योगी गेट्स दिस एबिलिटी टू कैलकुलेट ही कैन सी एवरीथिंग आस इन इट्स रियल फॉर्म you cannot make yogi confused that is the all uh, <laughs> thing is that you cannot make yogi confused because for him even to bring a thought it takes time time means movement the movement is there so that movement makes one thing another the manifestation is there you got the point you see we say this is all because we are calculating with time otherwise we have no other choice no other uh, way to say this is all how it is all it is all because it is so many years old so you have to apply time there and actually time is nothing time is not doing anything the reality is the particle of this object is changing interchanging so it become new the atoms are changed the particles are changed every moment it is changed so even in you uh, know what we see as one the object as one but it is not one every moment it is new or it is changing it is older anyway you can say it is not the previous one see if this is recognized by the mind of yogi so he knows everything this is actually the formula of sarvajñatva how this sarvajñatva is possible he is giving the formula here like the scientists do if you tell any of the scientist about this they will clearly accept it because it's completely connected to their theory the physics that says says is the same thing so that is why they are making new things the developments can happen atoms are changing they are not still they have energy and that energy is constantly changing so he does samyam on this okay now in this level there is no past no present no future how how it is possible even in physics is this is the truth they cannot prove past past and future and present it is different from different entities it cannot be proved because it is comparative only if you say you want to say only present is there no past no future and when only present is there why you say it is present because when you say present you must say past you must say future otherwise what is the meaning of present so we don't say anything we say all objects are made of particles and all the particles are constantly changing and that change is called object this is completely physics this wordings the same thing is mentioned so now there is no time for sankhya they don't believe in time they don't accept time as an entity it is not a principle for them kala is not there because in this meditation there is no kala so only you are seeing the moment so moment is always there what is past past is future nothing is present it is always it is continuing with the moments so this is uh, the last uh, part of this so we can say the atoms when we say this is a little bit uh, 
confusion may happen because now we what we know as atoms they have electrons protons neutron all these divisions but again in this it is not accepted that is why we have to change the atoms of physics and this atom because this atom is not that atom this atom we can say particles even because where there is no electron uh, proton neutron division so that that particles or whatever say or subatomic they say subatomic theory is there so you can use that word because the atom when we say again there is parts they vyasabhasha says here that should be irreducible the last part is irreducible it cannot reduce it so that is called atom it is not a uh, not a, not an object this is a, that is theoretically it is atom it means unbreakable irreducible you see if this atom is reducible breakable in this way then that is not the atom they are saying about the so, subatomic uh, connection or something we can say or particles or whatever so but uh, we, we have to remember this this is different from tanmatras these particles are not tanmatras tanmatras are connected to mind sense organs and mind this we have to remember when you study this theory so now with this this viveka the jnana the final uh, finest discrimination patanjali concludes the siddhi process here because he brought this sutra to connect the fifth, sutra number 50 sarva jnatritva because in that how he knows this so here uh the next sutra says that here he has the knowledge as ever present the yogi has the knowledge as ever present it means the knowledge is present it's not present tense present it means always present the same knowledge it is not old not new and is not connected to future it is not connected to past this uh, it is wonderful thing if you understand this and meditate on this be in present so there we take the thought and try to understand that so this is uh, little no what you say the last dose of <laughs> did it is strong <laughs> and to understand but uh, the uh, the terminology and uh, the philosophy is very clear here so we will see the next sutra tomorrow morning om purnamatah purnamidam पूर्णमुत्य पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति शाति शा